hello everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you are all doing well um if you're new here welcome my name is esther i'm a forte pharmacy student studying at uea so if you're new please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and switch on the notification bell so you can always get notified whenever i upload a new video so in today's video i'll be sharing with you five important tips i wish i knew as a fresher at the university exciting right yeah i'm very excited as well to share this so if you don't want to miss the juicy stuff grab a cup of coffee or a cup of tea and keep on watching so are you still hanging in there well i've grabbed my cup of coffee black coffee i really love that and i can't wait to chat away with you guys i'm so excited about this but yeah let's do, do not let us waste a lot of time let's dive straight in the first thing I wish I knew and first important tip I wish I knew before I started university is if I wish I knew about what the Freshers Week is all about. Mm -hmm. Of course, maybe because um, I didn't study in this country um, until I got into college and when I started college at this country there was nothing like welcoming week or orientation week if that makes sense. So that was quite new to me. When I got an offer, I got a series of emails from the university and I knew there was going to be something like Freshers Week but I had no idea what that meant. So I was a bit skeptical, which was a bad idea. I should have actually taken the bull by the horn and just go straight into it, enjoy myself, have fun. I wouldn't regret it by now. So yeah, what's the Freshers Week? The Freshers Week is the most exciting part of the university and it's the most ex exciting part for new students that are just coming to the university. And what this is is that the university puts in a lot of events together for you within a week or two of you starting university so you can get inclined into the new environment and get to meet new people and just explore just explore away that's what the freshest week is and also the freshest week does just not come with events it also comes with a lot of freebies such as cooking utensils things that you find so useful throughout the course of your studying at the university so why not go there and grab a new grab something free even if you don't want to attend the event at least just for getting something free please attend it this is something i regret so much like like i said initially because i felt like I didn't want to come out of my comfort zone, I um, I like to be by myself and because I don't have set friends like my usual friends that I'm used to or I'm comfortable around with me so I felt like oh I can't really go to an event as a solo person like I don't know anybody how am I going to communicate and meet new people but that is the main purpose of Freshers Week you're supposed to go there meet new people you don't know them from anywhere before meet them communicate network with these people that's the most important part of Freshers Week and this is something that would help you to build the very very important skills of communication skills networking skills that will help you in the long run while you through while you go through your career please and please do not try to be in that bubble that you d you've never met people you don't know how to communicate go out meet people you could end up making lifelong friends or you could end up making short-term friends even if they are short time don't worry in as much as you enjoyed yourself within that period of time that is what matters i wish i knew about freshers i would have enjoyed myself so much during the first day of my study i really regret it so much but hopefully i get to do another freshers soon so the second important tip is settling into university this could be quite overwhelming as this is as for some of you this is your first time leaving your parents house this is your first time trying to live alone this is the first time trying to be an independent individual so it's going to be quite overwhelming quite frustrating because you have no one to like kick your backside and say do this do that you know you're supposed to do this you're supposed to do that but you have to think by yourself so this could be quite um quite frustrating for some people and this is how some people start to begin to feel um, sick. I think I made a, um, a made a blog post about f um, how to deal with home sickness. What you need to do, I'll put that in the link. Uh, in the disc I'll put the link in the description box below, so you can have a read through it on how you can manage um, feeling home sick if you are away from the from your family or your loved ones. So, with these, um, one of the tips I will share with you is that you have to be very very open minded. This is the first time living home. You don't have your usual set of people around you. You don't have your usual friends with you, your usual family with you. 
you are here with new set of people brand new people you've never seen in your whole life so try to be open minded to like or when you meet someone you're happy to introduce yourself my name is esther blah 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 this is what i'm studying um what are you studying where do you stay um what room number are you staying in blah 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 that starts the conversation that starts the conversation that will help you to kind of come out of your shell a little bit instead of you getting scared and everything like that another tip is that try to bring something from home that would help you to just have that own feeling around you such as um, if you have um, something like a teddy bear that you use a lot at home and you love so much you can bring that with you to the universe that will help you to, to kind of have the feeling that you are at home another thing is that bring a lot of family pictures with you I had my family pictures with me and just looking at it every day when I wake up just gives me the nudge to like wait i can't give them a call and just how how they're doing even though i don't want to check anything much just oh how are you doing today what have you eaten today and just run to them about how your day has been at the university are you coping with the new life and everything that could help you to settle well into the university another thing some people do which which i felt like is quite important and i wish i did was try to make leave your door open Leaving your door open means that you're telling people that well, if you walk past through my door, come in, say hello, we can have a nice chat, we could have a quick cup of tea, talk about it, just chat from our different backgrounds, how do we manage, what do you do from your own background, what do you do from your background, how did you get in, blah blah blah, all this chat like that. That shows that you are ready to communicate, you're ready to be open minded, but if you leave your doors shut, people will know that you don't want to have a conversation they want to talk so they won't come to you at all so try your possible best to be open-minded be ready to talk um, be ready to you know communicate have things that are laugh things around you that will help you to just feel like you are at home even though you're not at home if that makes sense and that will help you to settle well if that helps the third point is clubs and societies let me have my cup of coffee mm. yeah clubs and societies once you get your offer at university I don't know if that is done with every university but the one at UE when I got my offer UE started sending a series of emails which includes registration things I need to get done once I start at university which includes clubs and societies that the university offer there are lots of clubs and societies that university offer. I bet you should look at that email and try to have a look and read through the different clubs of societies that university has. So you can have a look at it and just kind of make a list of, oh, I'm kind of interested in this one. I'm kind of interested in this. And just make a list of clubs and societies you wish to try once you start the university. And then when you start, during your freshest week, there's a, there's a day that the university puts in there. This is just meant for clubs and society fair. This is where all the clubs and societies all arrange themselves, make a lot of um, display. You can walk around through them, get to speak to the members of the society, what they felt about the clubs and things like that. And hopefully they'll be able to sell it to you and you become a member of that society. I think the societies I try to join were basically farm stock society because i'm a pharmacy student and i joined the south korean society oh my god i love south koreans like we watch the k-dramas as well i do so i was like oh it would be quite interesting to join the south korean society and see how things unfold that's very very important try and try and try that gives you the opportunity to get out of your comfort zone and try new things I had to learn a bit of Korean as well because they did some um, beginner Korean classes part of the society which was quite exciting and another thing that I wish I had done is I attended all the events I always feel like I don't have enough time so I need to use all my spare time to study which I'm coming back to later on but try and get into as much clubs and society as you can please do not join so many that you won't even have time to balance it with your university work but try to make a good balance joining them to just kind of chill out out of studying so it helps it definitely helps the next point is free time 
As a fresh out of the university, majority of students have a lot of free time compared to their senior years because this is a first year at the university, so they kind of use it to kind of welcome you into the university. Make use of your free time wisely. My free time was, anytime I had a free time, all I did was study, study, study because I'm not in lecture. I feel like if I'm not in lectures, the free time is meant for me to study and study, 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 study. Mm -mm, that's not the way of course you can try to fit in some studying into your free time however have a balance of it your free time is not meant for studying alone it's meant for actually chilling and enjoying yourself so you can have a good balance where you 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 cover everything you, that you have to do for your work so that you have enough free time to help with you know doing some social stuff like going to the club if you like clubbing i didn't like clubbing but i like watching movies i could go on movie nights with my friends and things like that free times are meant for that not just for studying so it's good to have a good balance between on how you spend your free time i never knew you're gonna have a free time at the university i just thought once you get into the university you study study studying until you graduate but of course we want that grade we all want that grade who doesn't want a first class we all want it however it's not just about that it's just about, it's also about you socializing trying to work on your time trying to learn how to make use of your time wisely having a good balance of work and work and play time if that helps so making use of a free time wisely you should know you definitely have a free time is not just all studying at university make use of it enjoy it while you can because once you progress through the course of your study those free times reduce 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 to the point that you have no free time at all so make use of it while you can and for my university first year doesn't count for most majority of the courses um, same as pharmacy so that's the best time to just enjoy yourself and chill and do the best you can from second year onward you can start thriving and want to like or do great and things like that but because you never have that much free time to spend so make use of your free time wisely enjoy it while you can because it's a luxury that you would not enjoy for a long time so the last point which is the fifth point is how to study this is something that I get a lot of DMs about on my Instagram before new people start university how do you balance it how do you study you study so hard you still have time for Instagram you still have time for YouTube how do you study well because this is your first time at the university, the way you study during college days or when you are doing your A-levels is going to definitely change. If not completely, but it's going to slightly change. This is because this is university and um, compared to A-levels, you have a specific guidance that you follow. But with university, not so really. You get given a topic. Lecturer is going to give you a snippet of what, like, what they want you to know. They expect you to go back and then do extra research to have an in-depth understanding about that topic. They're not going to teach you that. You need to go and do that, that personal research yourself. It's up to you if you do it. It's up to you if you don't do it. You're going to face it in your exam. So why not just, just forget about not doing it? You have to go and do it. So because you have to do extra research, it's no more of spoon feeding anymore. It's more of you doing the work yourself your study styles will change what i would say with studying is that first try and take things slowly do not just rush into it and say oh because i'm studying this this is what i did in eight levels is going to work it doesn't always work it might work for some people it doesn't always work for some people that it even works for they have to learn all the styles to kind of implement it into what they already know so they can maximize their learning style if that makes sense so first take it slowly Try your usual way that you usually study and see how it goes. See if it helps. If it doesn't help, be open-minded to learn new ways of learning. Be open-minded for it. There are some, there are different learning styles for different topics and different modules. Trust me, you never use the same learning styles for the same thing. They are different. For example, if I'm doing um, draw calculations, I know I have to, there is no way, there is no point of me learning and picking up a whole textbook, learning, 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 learning without doing any practice test. It doesn't make any sense. So I know if I'm doing drug calculations, I have to pick up past papers, 
questions even after form up questions in my head to practice so i know how to do that question well how to answer that question well that helps with draw calculations however with another module let's say like the um, for example cardiovascular module just doing the past papers might not help because it's a big model so you need to actually learn the content and then apply the content you've learned into answering past papers it it, it doesn't just well go straight into past papers and think they're gonna repeat it not all lecturers repeat their past papers question they expect you to be able to learn and understand what they've taught you and then apply it to any question they've given to you no matter where the question is coming from you should be able to answer it because you've learned and understood what they've taught you if that helps and other thing is that while you're learning new new styles try just keep trying it's just a matter of try and error it can work it might not work if it works perfect if it doesn't work put it to the side and try something else that first year of your life at the university is a way of you trying things out trying things out so you can have the perfect thing that works for you so that when you move to the subsequent years from like your second year to the end of your studying you would have already sorted that out you would have already gone through that process you would have already gone through that phase so when you start your subsequent years it's easier because you don't have to learn new ways of learning you just have to apply what you've learned into the new subsequent years if that helps so guys that was a lot of talking yes it is let me have a cup of co sip of coffee and then yeah that is all i wish i knew as a fresher at the university these are the things i wish i knew how to manage before i started uni so everything was it was just like i was just left in the middle of an ocean to just find my way out of it because i didn't know how to do anything i don't know how to deal with things i don't know anything but if you have an idea of all these important tips and steps before you start university i'm sure you'll be ready to just dive straight into it and enjoy it you're going to love it do not be too harsh on yourself love it and explore enjoy enjoy the experience freshness only happens once except if you decide to do so many degrees after your first one but please enjoy it and because it's when you're still a teenager that's when you start that's the best time to enjoy it because once you are older in your late 20s freshers is just a waste of time for you you don't even have the time or anything but as a teenager enjoy it and enjoy the experience so with that being said that comes to the end of this video thank you so much for watching guys and i'm really happy that you stay true to the end and if you do please do not forget to subscribe to my channel share with your friends and press the notification bell so you get notified whenever i upload a new video with that being said, I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a good day. Bye-bye.